Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's here. So I was sent this uh, little drill right here. I want to show it to you. It's working on replaying the ball. So maybe you bobble the ball, you drop, you just misplay it. But there's an opportunity to replay it and throw the runner out at whatever base. Um, so I want to just kind of show you. Here's a ground ball. They, they, he just works on kind of knocking it down, so missing it on purpose, and then replaying the ball, right? And this is this is something that is very rarely practiced by most players, I would say. But this is a skill, um, and <clears throat> there's a lot of opportunities. Well, hopefully, hopefully not too many. Uh, we want to catch the ball, right? But there's going to be plenty of opportunities throughout the year where you maybe knock a ball down or maybe you come in, it takes a bad hop, hits off your chest. Whatever the case is where the ball's on the ground, but it's close enough to you that you can replay it. So you have a chance if you pick it up cleanly, you can make an out at a base. And so you need to practice that. And again, <clears throat> before we talk about kind of the things that I think will help you, uh, one thing I see a lot of players do in practice is when a ball is hit to them, say they're doing ground ball work, right? So ground ball is hit to them. Let's say they bobble the ball, they drop it. You'll see a lot of players in practice, they'll drop the ball and then they'll just, ah, oh, and they'll just pick it up and they won't complete the play, right? And so I'm always telling guys, I'm finish the play, right? The play is not over. This is a skill to be able to drop a ball, bobble a ball, miss a ball, whatever it is, have it stay close enough to you and then recover the ball, right? So one, recover the ball. When you recover the ball, it's key. Pick the ball up with your bare hand, okay? I don't want to reach down and pick it up with my glove. Now I have to transfer to my bare hand and throw. That takes more time, right? We've already missed the ball. We don't have a whole lot of time. We have to quickly get the ball with our bare hand and throw. You can see how much quicker that is when you pick it up with your bare hand than when you pick it up with your glove, okay? And this isn't just for infielders. This is for any position. If you miss the ball, pick it up with your bare hand, okay? So that's the first coaching point. The second point, and this is where the practice comes in, is you need to remain calm, okay? So what happens with some players is they misplay the ball, and all of a sudden their brain speeds up, right? So that instead of being able to slow the game down, the game speeds up for them. Now they rush, they panic, right? They grab the ball, and they just fire it anywhere, and they throw the ball away. Okay, so when I drop the ball, and that's what you can see how calm he is now, right? Now, I understand this is practice. There's not a runner running down the line. But if you practice this, if you practice recovering with your bare hands, staying calm, not panicking, setting your feet, and making a throw, then when you get into a game and it happens, well, you've done it before. You've practiced it. What happens a lot is players never practice this. And then in a game, their body isn't used to it. Their mind isn't used to it. And so they drop the ball. And the first thing, they either one, they give up and they say, oh, play's over. It's not over. Complete the play. Right? So that's one. Or two, they drop the ball and they go, oh, you, oh, bleep. And then they just panic. And they grab the ball as quick as they can and they just heave it. Right? And they don't stay under control. Under control, pick it up bare hands, set your feet. You can see he's still, he picks it up. He still goes right to left, left to target. He's still getting momentum towards his target, getting good direction, and makes the throw. Again, ball is dropped, picks it up, bare hand, right to left, left to target, makes the throw. Right, so the fundamentals are still there. Bare hand, pick it up, set your feet, throw, okay? Now, one other way that we do this drill, um, because sometimes players are like, well, I don't want to practice, you know, misplaying the ball. I don't want to build in those habits. Um, and that's fine. But one other way you can do it is you can just have a coach just kind of stand out here with a ball, get into your fielding position, whether it's backhand, forehand, or right at you, 
and all the coach will do is he'll drop the ball somewhere. So he might kind of drop it over here, or he'll drop it over here, or he'll kind of roll it through your legs right here. And that's just simulating a ball that you just missed. And so now you don't have to actually practice missing it. You can just have the coach drop the ball in different spots. Um, maybe he drops it behind you, right? And now you're going to react to it. You're going to go pick it up again with your bare hand. You're going to set your feet right to left, left the target. You're going to try to not panic, stay calm, and always complete the play, okay? And you never know. Like the one thing that I'll, I'll, I've seen is when players give up on it, right? You First, if you give up on it, there's no play to be made, right? You cannot get an out, okay? Maybe you only get an out 20% of the time when you replay it, right? That's still... Five, it happens five times in a year, right? You get one out out of five. Maybe that one out is the difference between a win and a loss. You never know, right? So any percentage, any percentage is better than zero if you give up on the ball. Keep that in mind. Never give up on the ball. Always finish the play. If he's safe, he's safe. Who cares, right? But if you give up on it, you have no chance of ever completing an out or getting an out, all right? So, so definitely keep that in mind. So that's all we have. Just an interesting drill. Again, got the video sent over. And uh, if you don't like this version, well, then you can do my other version. Just have a coach kind of drop the ball around you, and then you're going to replay it. Just make sure you're working on, you know, every side of you. Don't just drop it right in front of you. Go to your right. Go to your left. Even go behind you or in front of you. Um, hopefully this will help you out. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Thank you to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel. And we will talk to you later.